Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to see who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I have those links in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my lovely Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so you could have someone who's a fire sign coming towards you. Ooh, this is somebody who has a lot to offer. What they like about you, the six of wands. And what else we need to know, the nine of pentacles, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords. Okay, so you and this person may mirror each other. I'm also getting there's potentially, uh, this person is potentially bilingual is what I'm seeing or speaks multiple languages. Um, but I also see too, it, this may be something that, you know, you and your person don't see coming. So you meet in some sort of unexpected way or in some sort of unexpected place. Um, some of you may be introduced through family, okay, like whether there's, you know, they're friends of a sibling or something like that, um, but let's see. With the Page of Wands, this is somebody who's very passionate. They might be a little bit younger. I feel they're quite free-spirited, adventurous. Um, I feel like this person's a lot of fun to be around. For some of you, this person has an inheritance or a trust fund. That's not going to be for all of you. Okay, because I do feel like this person is, is generally kind of carefree and that might be, you know, that their finances are taken care of here. <laughs> uh, not for all of you, of course. And let's see, with the Page of Wands, yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles. Some of you may meet this person somehow through work or within your community. And like I said, there could be some sort of family connection. I don't know if you're, you know, it's a friend of the family or it's somebody that works with a family member or something like that. Um, but I do see that you two are going to be very compatible. I feel this person's very easy to get along with, okay? Um, and again, I, I also feel, too, this person may be a little bit of an overthinker. And again, it could be because of the way that you two meet. Um, you know, again, it could be like a friend of your, you know, your brother or your sister or something like that or a coworker. Um, but I do feel like this person is definitely not going to see, see things, see this connection coming, and um, or they're just not expecting it or expecting you to be as amazing as you are or who you are, Capricorn. Um, but yeah, I do think they have a tendency to overthink and to overanalyze here. All right. And we see a tower moment. So there's definitely something here that's um, going to be quite unexpected. Now, I can't deny I did try to do this reading, Capricorn, um, earlier and uh, the messages just weren't flowing. It just wasn't good enough. But it's interesting because I'm being brought back to those messages because there was an indication of like secrecy around this connection. So again, this could be, like I said, like maybe this is your brother's best friend or maybe this person knows your ex or somehow there's some sort of family connection. Um, and so you may kind of keep this connection quiet at least in the beginning, um, but we'll see. And, and again, with the two of swords, I, I, for a lot of you too, there could be some sort of crush. You know, there's, you've been crushing on each other for a while, but sort of keeping it under wraps, keeping it quiet, keeping it close to your chest. Um, yeah, it certainly could be that like, you know, their ex or they know yours. There's just, there's like a little bit of an element here of secrecy, um, around this connection, but it doesn't feel like it's necessarily a bad thing. It just kind of feels like there's a little bit of hesitancy to um, be out in the open with this connection early on. And and like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, in fact, it's a good idea to keep connections close to your chest until they develop. Um, and for some of you, there could be a work connection here. So maybe your coworkers or something like this, like that, or, you know, this is the boss's daughter or son or something like that. We'll see. Um, but well, let's get into this. Let's see what else you need to know about this person. All right, so we have, okay, they're an entrepreneur. So this is somebody who's very creative and they're investing in their future. They're hardworking. This is also somebody here who's very balanced. So they're good at mediating situations uh, when necessary and they guide people through difficult circumstances. So this is somebody who's very even keeled, very balanced, very dependable and wise. 
And we do see karmic soulmate here. So you're meant to learn lessons and help each other evolve. But this doesn't have to be a bad thing. You know, this can be really somebody who teaches you to trust and to love again with an open heart, Capricorn. But for some of you, I am seeing this karmic soulmate could be that third party that I'm picking up on. So again, you might know this person's ex or maybe they know yours or there might be some sort of third party here involved. Again, it could be family members. It could be friends. It could be... Um, you know, like maybe this person dated your friend and you kind of just want to keep it quiet. Um, or possibly to, you know, they might, um, you know, it could be somebody that, um, somebody around them, somebody they co-parent with or something along those lines. So we have Sagittarius energy. Okay. So for some of you, they could be a Sagittarius sun, moon rising, but it also means that they, this is just the energy that they embody. This is somebody who's a teacher and a knowledge seeker. They're a bold, fiery sign. They're comfortable leading others, okay? So this is somebody who's in a leadership role. They might be a little bit young for their age as well. Some of you, you know, they've either climbed the corporate ladder quite quickly or maybe they had some connections. Um, you know, for some of you, I'm hearing the word whiz kid, which I know we haven't used that phrase in, in ages, but maybe they were or are a bit of a whiz kid. And <laughs> some of you might not even know what I'm talking about, but just somebody who's really advanced, and it does feel like, you know, possibly they started a business early. Um, and again, maybe they're not even that young, but it does look like this is somebody who's, you know, done quite well for themselves. Um, for some of you, this person may be blonde. Okay. Now, remember these physical attributes that come through Capricorn are not going to resonate with all of you. And that's completely okay. It doesn't mean that it's not your reading. It's just going to be confirmation for some of you. All right, so we also have this person. Oh, okay, so this person you might connect through uh, reading cards uh, or they enjoy, uh, they enjoy tarot. They might have their favorite online reader. Um, and we do see grandparents. So some of you, there's some sort of family connection here. But, you know, for some of you, obviously this person could be a, a grandparent. Um, but for others of you, I, I feel like this person may have received some sort of inheritance from a grandparent or they may have been raised partially or entirely by their grandparent or grandparents. I feel like this person has a very, a very strong connection to, you know, to their grandparent. Um, this is going to be a psychic, telepathic, very spiritual connection here, Capricorn. So I do feel like those of you who are connecting with this are, you're definitely going to appreciate this. And you're going to be able to talk to this, uh, talk to this person about, you know, about, about spirituality, about, you know, how you feel, the esoteric. Um, so I, I expect some really good conversations here and a very strong spiritual connection. All right. How else will my Capricorns be able to identify this person? Okay. We have, they may have blue eyes. So we get blonde hair, blue eyes coming through again, not for all of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This may be somebody whom you've already met before, okay? And I do feel like there was probably an instant attraction here, Capricorn, um, but maybe it couldn't get off the ground because you weren't available, they weren't available, or there was something, I don't want to say taboo about you two coming together, but maybe, you know, like I said, maybe it was, um, you know, your bosses, you know, related to your boss or somebody that dated a friend of yours or an, or an ex or something like that. Um, so... This person likes to use their middle name, okay? I'm getting that they may have like a little bit of um, like a traditional last name or like they have a little bit, I'm getting a little bit of like a, um, I don't know, I'm getting like a very Anglo name, not for all of you, of course, but something that might sound a little bit hoity-toity. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm getting. They might have even a Roman numeral after their name type energy. Again, not for all of you, but, and we see this person is vegetarian, or to me, this is just somebody who's a healthy eater that cares about where they source their food, what they put into their body. And we also see a noticeable facial feature. Yeah. And for some of you, I'm getting, there's something about their nose. I don't know if they have like a freckle or a birthmark or like a little mole or something like that. Um, but I'm being really drawn to their nose. Uh, I feel like it's going to be something very cute, very endearing. Of course, it could just be the shape of their nose. Uh, for some of you, maybe they have a little nose ring. Um, but let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Capricorns. 
All right, we see slim, thick. Okay, so whatever this person's body type might be, um, they are fit. We do see that they do take good care of themselves. I was getting that with the Nine of Pentacles too. Some of you might might really come together on your health and wellness journey, or maybe you have like the same goals, um, or you you know, or you just both prioritize your health and your wellness, or eating organically, or where you source your food from, going to the gym, things like that. All right, yeah, some of you, you're gonna meet through friends. And I do see that with the Three of Pentacles. It could be somebody who's already in your, you know, in your community. And again, this might be somebody who dated your friend or knows your ex or something like that. Because I do feel like there's something here that you may want to kind of keep quiet or, you know, at least kind of you're going to be a little bit hesitant about being open with other people about this connection early on. But this person is successful, they're self-made, and they own their own business. So it's coming out twice here, Capricorn, that this person is entrepreneurial, that this person has done quite well for themselves. And, and maybe they, that happened at quite a young age. Like, I feel like this person was always pretty precocious, always pretty advanced for their age. All right. So we have a tower moment. This is definitely something that's going to um, take you by surprise. And... Um, this person sees victory with you, Capricorn. Some of you, I do get, you might, you may meet each other like in the gym or like working out. They're definitely going to be checking out your assets. They like how you take care of yourself. Um, there's a very strong physical sexual attraction here between the two of you. And this person sees you as the best of the best, Capricorn. Wow, and they see you as emperor energy. Now that reading that I did that I didn't complete for you earlier, the first card out was the empress. So I'm getting a lot of connections to that reading in this one. So which is just my guide showing me that yes, it's the same person. Um, but we see this Aries energy. Um, this is somebody who's, you know, they see you as somebody who's very strong, very strategic, very boundary oriented. Um, this person definitely is, is going to want, is going to invest in you, want to invest in you. And we see the strength card, Leo energy. So some of you may have fire in your chart. I mean, we have all the fire signs here on the table, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Um, this person just sees you as strong willed. They see you as sexy. They see you as passionate. I feel like you've, we've got a power couple here, to be honest. Um, and I feel like you two are just going to be completing each other in the most harmonious ways. Um, and there may be a little bit of conflict here, but I feel like it's a good thing because I do think you both are quite powerful. You're both strong. You're both independent. So it kind of, I'm kind of getting this energy of like meeting your match here, Capricorn, or maybe they feel like they've, like, this is a powerful person in their own right. Uh, but they've met their match. And again, I, I want to go back to that page of wands energy. I do feel like this person has always been driven. Um, this person may have gotten a job really early or been, or become successful really early. And again, maybe for some of you, it's because they, you know, come from money or, you know, a, a good, you know, a background that, yeah, they come from money. Um, let's see. What else do they love about my Capricorns here? All right, so they see you as a trickster, but this is a good thing, Capricorn. They don't see you as, they see you as unconventional. They don't see you as stuffy. Um, and they and they also see that you're unpredictable. Like you're not who they, you know, they love the fact that like they maybe have not a hard time reading you, but they love that you're unpredictable. Um, that you're just, you're not like everyone else is what I'm getting. And again, I see you both being, I, I see this really being a power couple. Like, I don't think this person's used to meeting people that are either as smart or as ad advanced or as spiritual or as successful as you, Capricorn. So I do think that they're going to be quite taken by you. Um, and we also see thief. Yeah, you're going to steal this person's heart and probably right off the bat. I kind of feel like they're, they're also probably not going to be used to being charmed by people the way that they're charmed by you. And yeah, we've got Don Juan. So they definitely see you as super sexy, um, seductive, um, provocative even. So I would get ready. I feel like this is going to be, you, you two are going to be a really beautiful couple. I feel people are going to really notice you. Um, again, I feel like you both um, probably have the same habits and routines. 
you know, for example, and obviously this isn't going to be for all of you, but getting up early, you know, working out, hydrating, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like I've got two really beautiful people or two people here that really take good care of themselves. Um, and obviously those routines are going to be very different. And I see that here with the nine of pentacles. In fact, I do see two single people here who have everything that they need except for love. So I do think this is a beautiful coming together. Now, some of you, Spirit is saying this relationship deserves a second chance or a second look. And we did get that message coming through. So some of you, maybe this is an ex, but you know, my intentions for these readings are that this is somebody completely brand new. So I'm, I feel like maybe you've met this person before or they already know who you are. But for some reason, you couldn't get together, either because there was something taboo, you know, like you two work together, or this is, you know, somebody that you're, you know, that that was with your ex or, you know, was with a friend or something like that. But I do think that, you know, that um, you're being put on each other's path again for a reason. And again, I do think that that other reading that I did was like, there is an element here of like wanting to keep this a little bit secret at first. Yeah, and some of you, because you're, you've just been really good friends for a long time, so you might not want to let your other friends in on it, all right? And we see here that there's going to be a lot of passion. It's going to be a very sexy connection. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have new love, a recommitment or a new love is developing. So for some of you, there is an element of this connection coming back around. So you're going to have to let me know in the comment section down below, Capricorn, if it's somebody you've already dated or is it somebody you've known from before? Because oftentimes in a reading where my intentions are, this is somebody completely brand new, this can indicate that it's a past life soulmate coming around that you've shared lifetimes together. So again, just really trust your intuition here. All right, let's see what else my Capricorns need to know about this person or about this connection. We get holiday. Okay, enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life. So some of you, you might kind of plan like a getaway. Okay, so let's say you're in the same friend group or you kind of your coworkers or something. You might take vacation at the same time and meet up there. I kind of feel like you're not going to tell that many people at first. Um, and, and like I said, I don't think that's always a bad thing. Um, you know, to keep a, a new relationship, you know, under wraps or close to your chest or out from, you know, other people's prying eyes and opinions, I don't think is always a bad thing. Spirit saying that this is a lasting love. So this is your true love Capricorn. So for a lot of you, yeah, this is absolutely, this is a, this is a very important connection that has the potential to, you know, to last a long time. And I just heard even lifetimes. So, wow. All right, Capricorn, let's see if we can get some important dates for you here. So yeah, there may be slow movement in this connection. For some of you, this has been building up for years, but for others of you, it's just going to be months or weeks. And again, there's something here about either being friends and wanting to take it slow, you know, being friends first. And for others of you, you know, I don't know if you, I don't know if it, what it, what this energy is. Um, maybe your children know each other. And so you kind of want to give them time to process and make sure everything's right. There's just something here about like some sort of third party distraction or hesitation, but it doesn't necessarily feel like this person's, you know, married or they're dating somebody else type third party. It just feels like you guys kind of want to keep it to yourselves in the beginning. And spirit saying it is going to be developing over the next three months. And we also see the energy of June coming through. So again, maybe you met this person back in June and there's been a little bit of a hesitation. There's a coming back together. Um, and for others of you, um, you know, June could be an important time for, for you or this person. Again, it could be a birthday or it could be when a divorce was finalized, or it could be when they moved to the area, you know, you use your intuition here always with these readings. All right. So I'm going to leave it here, Capricorn. I'm sending you so much love and light. Have a beautiful day. Take care.